Originally, I'd wanted to do a video series about the design of the CNC controller, but I put it off for quite a while. Uh, but I think I'm ready to do it. Uh, I think mostly to give back to the community. I learned a lot uh, watching YouTube videos of other people's builds. Uh, in particular, there's one from Brian CNC. I'll put a link down below uh, to it. And he has a very detailed uh, description of the controller he built. Uh, he actually, I think, sells plans to it as well. I think he'll, he includes a full electrical diagram as well as a bomb, a bill of materials spreadsheet of every component that's in it. And so that may be of value to people. Um, I kind of considered that, but I think in the end, I think it might be a critique of his build as well as mine in that we've uh, had to adapt to certain uh, choices. Like I wanted to use a VFD and a spindle and in his design he was using a router. Uh, and so his whole uh, panel is uh, powered by 120 volt AC and the mains power is uh, controlled by a relay that goes out to that router. And so the fact that I wanted to use a, a larger 240 volt spindle sort of changes my design. I also had to adapt to the uh, service entrance or the service that's being provided in my garage. So I have a three wire 240 volt AC. I'm in uh, the United States here. And so um, in, rather than a four wire, if I had a four wire service, I think I would have done things slightly different in this panel and I'll get to that later. But Bottom line is I think no matter what, you're going to make choices for your build that don't match mine. And so I think it's best just to maybe provide a review of what I did and then you can sort of uh, take features that you like and maybe uh, throw away things that don't make any sense for you. And so that's the goal of this series. Uh, that said, uh, just a big disclaimer here, do what I do at your own risk. I am not a trained electrician, uh, either in a residential uh, electrical or uh, industrial. And so this is kind of a, a mixture of those two skill sets. And so I think when I took on this project, it was a stretch of my skills. And so I had to do a lot of research to, to sort of up my game to be comfortable enough to do this. So. Um, anyway, uh, just be careful, you know, this is a uh, 240 volt AC, it's, it's enough to kill you, it really is, it's not hyperbole, uh, it's dangerous, and so I think the most dangerous phase is when you come to do the actual wiring and then critically test your circuits, and so you really have to be careful on those initial startups and power-ups to make sure you can, you know, you're not touching anything and when you let out some magic smoke, you can de-energize <laughs> everything from a distance. So anyway, um, you're the one responsible for you and your safety. And so just uh, assess your skills as honestly as you can. You know, if you're prone to, you know, being clumsy and or, uh, you know, don't have much patience, then this is probably not a project you want to take on. And so also that, you know, if you, if you need this controller up and running by a certain amount of time, because you, you know, you already have a project and it's going to be off schedule. If this is late, then I would not build the, you know, the controller, you know, there's good controllers out there that can be purchased. Um, I think this activity is to either, you know, push your skills because you think it's fun and you want to learn, or you have some, you know, custom, uh, you know, situation that you need to adapt to that, let's say, an off-the-shelf controller won't, won't work. So anyway, that's my recommendations.